Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be doing a complete admin tutorial on this right here, holographic displays. These are great ways to display stuff on your server that you probably don't want to put on a sign or could put on a sign but don't have enough room per line or just overall want it to look good and use colors and do all sorts of awesome stuff. These are all over our server from our spawn to the kind of admin ran town on our server which is my town here. They are absolutely everywhere and uh, they're a great way to get information across without having a bunch of signs and, and like you know I mean for example you know all the signs here this is information about my town but it's a lot more efficient and looks a lot better and grab people's attention to use these right here, these holographic displays. So today we're going to be going over how to use these, how to set them up, how to do all that, and as much as I would love to do them on the best server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, we're going to be doing them on our test server. First though, I need to show you the config and do all that stuff. However, there's one more thing we need to do, which is shout out our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much we use them ourselves, so you can check them out again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex. So here we are. Here's the holographic displays download page. You can find this linked in the description down below. And as you can see here, there are the features, you know, all of that stuff. It's, it's just kind of all outlined here. There's even a tutorial permissions commands. This can all be helpful, but we're going to be going over these in this video more in depth so you can actually know what is going on and actually be able to use them. And I'm going to teach you a few commands that if you can remember a few commands, you'll be able to always use holographic displays no matter what. But nevertheless, once you're ready to get this file, it does support versions 1.8 to 1.13.2. That says 1.13.1 1 there, but it supports 1.13.2, our server. And the server we're actually going to be using in this tutorial. This is 1.13.2. Nevertheless, once you download it, drag and drop it into your plugins folder right here on your server. Then you'll be given this holographic displays folder whenever you run the plugin for the first time. And you'll have a config. Most of the time I go through the config, but there's literally nothing in this config that you need to change. Absolutely nothing. So you're good there. No reason to change anything on this. We've never had to change anything on this, at least. It is kind of cool. You can set this up for bungee cord if you want to use it to like show whether servers are offline or online. But overall, no reason to use that there for us. You might want to be able to use that, but it's pretty self-explanatory there. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump in game to uh, really get holographic displays configured. And here we are in game. So this is just a, a village here that I found. Let's go ahead and turn on fly real quick. But here's the village that I found. Thought it would be kind of cool to uh, put our holographic display right here at the beginning of this entrance. Let's say like, welcome to the village and things like that. So let's go ahead, space up a bit here. And uh, what you need to learn about holographic displays is two commands, really three kind of, but slash hollow help is one of them. So this is going to give you all the stuff like how to create and you can hover over all of these to get all of the information and then hollow edit. But before we can use hollow edit, we need to create a hologram. So as we can see, hollow create hologram name and text. Now the hologram is going to be created at your feet. So if we go ahead and create it right here, it'll be placed in the ground. But if we space up a bit and like kind of just go up in the air a little bit, it'll be placed there. Let's go ahead and place it at our feet and I'll show you how to move it. So as we can see, we need to do hollow and then we need to do create and then we need to name this hologram just for ease of use, I'm just going to do tutorial as the name of our hologram here. And then we want to do the text. And I'm going to do welcome to the village. Right? That's what we're going to do. And boom, there we go. As I said, it's created like right at your feet, kind of at your waist, I guess. But there it is. Welcome to the village. Now, problem is you want to move this up. At least I do. I don't think spawning in right here and seeing that down there is going to look good. So let's space up in the air again. And now we can see hollow move here. You see that? So slash hollow move here. And then the hologram name, which was tutorial. Boom. Now it's moved up in the air and it looks a lot better. Now here's the thing. I said there was two commands you really needed to know. Hollow help, which returns this right here. And hollow space edit space hologram name. So let's go ahead and do that. Slash hollow space edit. And then the name of our hologram, which we named ours tutorial. And there you go. That is the rest of the uh, information you need to know here. How to add a line, how to remove line, how to set a line that's already existing, how to insert a line between two lines, and then how to get information like where a hologram is located with this bottom one, hollow info, never used read text or read image there. Nevertheless, how do you do colors on these? We're going to use bucket color codes, and those are linked in the description down below. I'm not going to be going over them here. I have them all memorized, but we do have bucket color codes linked in the description down below. So let's go ahead and add a line to this hologram. So we can do slash hollow, 
and then we want to do add line, and then we need the hologram name, which is tutorial. And they're going to add a line that says, welcome to the village, please don't grieve, right? Now, here's the thing. We're going to say, please don't grieve, but we want this to be in red, like a lighter red, so that's going to be and C, and then we want it to be italicized, which is going to be and Oh, then do that, and there we go. We now have another one that is Welcome to the Village, Please Don't Greet. But I don't like how that looks. Let's say we wanted to change it to blue. We couldn't just add another line. We need to set a line, as you can see right here. So slash hollow, set line, okay, this time. And then we're going to do the name of the hologram, which is tutorial. And then we need to do the line number. Please Don't Grief is line number two, so let's go ahead and do two there. And then we need to go ahead and change the text to whatever we want it to be. In this case, it's going to be please don't grief, but we need to add in our color codes to make this blue, which is and B, and still give it italicized, which is and O. So there we go. That looks a lot better. Welcome to the village, please don't grief. And now, I'd say we actually wanted to do welcome to the village, hope you enjoy your stay, right? So we want to add that in between the first line and the bottom line there. How do we do that? Well, we need to do hollow insert line. So we're going to go ahead and do slash hollow insert line line tutorial and then we need to do the line number we're going to do this as line number two because we want it to be the second line of the hologram and then we're going to say enjoy your stay and then we'll go ahead and make this green which is and a and then I'll go ahead and un make it bold which is and l and we'll go ahead and italicize it too so now when we go ahead and in hit enter we're going to insert a line here name tutorial as the second line and it's going to say enjoy your stay it's going to be green bold and italicized Hit enter, and there it is. Now, you might actually be like, what? It added it at the bottom. Why did it do that? I wanted it to add above that. Well, no problem. The reason it did that is because line one is actually line zero. So that was my bad. So if we change this from line one to line two to line one, it'll go ahead and insert there. Now, we accidentally posted this at the bottom, right? Enjoy your stays actually at the bottom, and it's up here. How do we remove the one that's on the bottom? Well, it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and do slash hollow remove line. And again, this is all right here. And then we want to do tutorial because that is the name of our hologram. And then we want to remove line line number, in this case, three. So boom, and I accidentally removed the entire hologram. Now you might be wondering, why did that happen? Why did it do that? Because I did hollow remove instead of hollow line remove. So let me go ahead and recreate this hologram real quick. We're gonna do this pretty quickly just by going back into this right here and kind of creating everything again. So let's go ahead and go on up in the air here. We're gonna do hollow create. Right? This is actually a good thing. We can go over it all again. So, Hollow Create Tutorial Welcome to the Village. Boom. That's going to create our hologram. Now, under that hologram, we want to go ahead and insert a line or actually add a line that says, Please don't grief. However, we don't like that. So, we want to go ahead and change that to a better looking one with, you know, blue and italicized and all that. So, there we go. We've now changed that. And then we want to insert a line here that says, Enjoy your stay as line one. Go ahead and do that. And then we accidentally had one added at the bottom as well down there how do we remove that one well we do again slash hollow space edit so we can get those commands back so we do hollow edit tutorial and then we can do hollow remove line this time very big clarification there tutorial and then we want to remove line four i believe there we go remove line four and that's that as you can see from there it's kind of all just doing this everything you need is slash hollow help and there's all the commands you need right there see that all of them now let's say you wanted to figure out what the name of this was well you just get right here and you would do slash hollow near and then you could get all the hologram names in a 10 block radius and as you can see that is hollow tutorial let's say you want to list holograms you can do slash hollow space list that's going to list all the holograms in your server as you can see there's quite a few here and that's pretty cool to have again we can do slash hollow help here to see the rest of these commands you can delete holograms with that right there hollow delete then the name of the hologram you can move holograms to a specific location using x y and z coordinates using hollow align hologram name all that stuff and then you can go ahead and use hollow copy to hol copy a hologram from one hologram to another so that's pretty cool and then again you can do slash hollow space edit and then the name of the hologram let's say we wanted to do the one at spawn so we would do survival spawn and then we could see all this stuff and it changed adline tutorial to adline survival spawn so whenever you're working on one once you figure out the name with slash hollow list or slash hollow near radius you'll be able to go ahead and do slash hollow 
space edit space the name of that hologram and then go through all these commands to change it as you wish that's holographic displays it work it walks you through everything some people have asked me why is holographic displays so hard once you know those two commands slash hollow space help and slash hollow space edit space name of your hologram you're good. You know everything you need to know about holographic displays. But nevertheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft admin tutorials. And if you're just looking for an incredible survival server that uses holographic displays, come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com. We have the best 1.13 and soon 1.14 survival in the multiverse. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.